What's happening guys, I'm Taxorus. Welcome to Setup Wars episode 257. What is this fly doing here? God damn, I almost ate it. Get the hell out of my office. What's happening guys, I'm Taxorus. Welcome to Setup Wars episode 257. We're keeping the momentum going still with season five, baby. We are seven episodes in. Hope you're doing well and you're enjoying the new season. If you guys wanna be a part of the show, make sure to watch the video, link down below. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, sit back and relax, because you know what time it is. Editing programs can be really expensive and sometimes really difficult to learn. And that is why I have partnered with NVIDIA, who is also sponsoring this video, to let you guys know about a contest that I am hosting. This is my idea, by the way. I'll be giving away $300 in cash to anyone who can create the funniest video using NVIDIA. I'll also be giving away $50 to four of the runner-ups. You can either use one of the 4,000 plus pre-made templates that they have on there and just add on to it, or you can start from scratch. NVIDIA has a stock video library of more than 10 million assets from premium sources like Shutterstock and iStock, allowing you to create gold standard videos in minutes, even if you don't know how to edit. It's a super powerful yet intuitive editor and timeline which even allows for template switching so you don't have to restart projects from scratch. If you're gonna take on the challenge, you have to make sure the video is at least 10 seconds long and, well, it's gotta be funny. NVIDIA has a community of more than 20,000 marketing experts and video creators to seek help and learn from. I'll be reacting to all the submissions one by one for the very first time on my Discord server. And of course, I'll pick the funniest one, give that person $300, and I'll give four of the runner-ups $50 each. This is worldwide, by the way, uh, but you do have until August 20th to send in the video. More details will be linked down below. Kicking off the episode is Chris from the UK and his beautifully stacked gaming setup. I don't know what it is about stacked monitors, but every time I see one, I get weak in the knees. Personally, I prefer stacked monitors over side by side as it's the most space optimal layout, not just for productivity, but for gaming as well. Take Chris's setup for example, given the size of the desk, if he were to place the monitors side by side, there wouldn't be any space for him to keep the PC on the desk. So he made the smart choice of stacking them instead. The main monitor that he games on is the 35 inch ultra wide while the top 27 inch is mostly used for multitasking. I love seeing a single cable raceway curving the wires going down the wall, but I feel like you could help cover up a part of it by simply moving your fake plant right underneath the monitor. Small little adjustments like this go a long way, believe it or not. For peripherals, we got some Logitech gear, the G513 keyboard, G560 mouse on top of the PowerPlay mouse pad with excellent cable routing through the desk using a cable grommet. Job well done. It appears he has a thing for Logitech because he stuck with them for his audio gear as well. We got a set of G560 speakers on the desk and the G433 headset that he has hanging from the side of his Alex unit. Cables do seem to be managed quite well for the most part. I'm happy to see a bunch of those cable tie mounts that I featured in a previous Cooltech video doing all the work. And finally, we got the custom PC powering it all. I love that he positioned the PC in the corner so that you can still see inside it while also hiding the cables against the wall. We got the Ryzen 7 3700X and the RTX 2070 Super with some cable extensions. Such a clean looking build to complement a clean and cozy setup. In fact, the rest of the room complements his setup nicely. I just love the minimalistic and modern aesthetic you went after and great choices on the furnishing as well. Such a cozy and clean setup to start the show. Thank you, Chris, for sharing this with us. Speaking of stack monitors, take a look at Cody's setup from New York. Damn, that looks pretty damn sweet. We got dual stacked ultrawides, both from LG, that appear to be mounted to a 72 inch desk. The setup's purpose is gaming, 2D, and 3D animation with a bit of productivity on the side. I can definitely say that dual ultrawide monitors are very efficient for productivity in general. He's got a MIDI controller right underneath the main ultrawide with a Ducky 1-2 Mini in white paired beautifully with the glorious Model O. Also, both of these have custom cables from Dream Cables. It's interesting to see the cables going across the desk horizontally instead of vertically. You always want to pick the shortest distance possible for the cleanest look, especially when we're talking about cables. For audio, we have a set of Logitech Z200 speakers and the Corsair Void Elites hanging from the side of the desk. 
No complaints when it comes to cable management. Seems like he did his homework and knows how to use raceways and double-sided tape to mount things. Nicely done. And finally, we got this Beast PC in the corner, equipped with a Ryzen 7 3700X and the RTX 2070 Super Founders Edition. I love the white on black color scheme with that animated AIO pump, looking really good. You could let your inner weeb out and add a bit more personalization to the setup, but overall, you have a solid foundation. Thanks for sharing this with us. Coming in at number three is Justin's epic gaming room setup. I'm already in love with the lighting. The way he seamlessly integrated them across the setup is just so beautiful. Justin is a fabricator from Texas and he built this setup for streaming, YouTube, and TikTok. We got an awesome triple monitor layout, dual 27 inches stacked on each other with a third 27 inch in vertical mode for multitasking and Discord. I love that he flipped the top monitor upside down to minimize the bezels between both displays and he even went about skinning the bezels in white to match the color scheme, but you should have just skinned the bottom monitor as well for consistency. For peripherals, we got the Model O wireless in white paired with an awesome custom keyboard. He's rocking a Tofu 60% build with Alpaca V2s and Astrolo Keys keycaps and a custom coil cable to go along with it. The rest of the gear on the desk is neatly organized and lined up right in front of him, which includes a couple of his spare mice and an Elgato Stream Deck, which is also wrapped in white vinyl. Nicely done. That's not the only thing he wrapped in vinyl, by the way. It appears that he wrapped both of his Logitech Z333 speakers up top, and he even painted the scar weapon that he mounted above the monitors. Love the dedication. I've always mentioned this before, but skinning items in vinyl is a much cheaper, less permanent way to modify the color of your products as opposed to painting them. So if you guys are unhappy with a certain item in your setup clashing against the color scheme, then you should consider skinning them instead. Another thing I love about the setup is how he maintained the awesome floating look by mounting everything to the wall. Notice how he even clamped his streaming camera and the lights behind the monitors. There are no cables in sight. Moving on to the other side of the desk is where he has the custom gaming PC with the same retro synthwave color scheme that's carried over from the setup. It's such a clean build inside the Corsair 4000 case. We got the i9 9900K with 32 gigs of RAM and the RTX 2060 Super Founders Edition. Beautiful PC, beautiful setup, and a beautiful room. Justin even put some extra effort in the rest of the space as well. He built a dedicated entertainment center for watching movies and gaming on his Nintendo 64. That's what's up. All while having a place to display his keyboard collection as well. Beautiful. There were a little bit of inconsistencies I noticed in the setup, like how the bottom bezel of the monitor wasn't skinned to match the other bezels, and the speakers up top weren't exactly aligned perfectly. But overall, this is such an epic gaming room. Thank you, Justin, for sharing this with us. Are you guys getting tired of rainbow puke setups? Well, get hyped because the second Justin setup might just give your eyeballs what they've been wanting. Behold, a super clean, zero RGB, matte black, minimalistic setup. Damn. It is so anti-RGB that even the wallpaper on the monitor is black. I'm only kidding. Obviously, there is some lighting in the setup, but I wanted to show you guys that the option of turning the lights off to achieve a zero RGB setup is still possible. That is the beauty of going with a color neutral setup. So this setup was built for the purpose of gaming and content creating, and he does all that on a single 35-inch ultra-wide monitor that he mounted beautifully against the wall with both of his speakers. Normally, I talk about cable management towards the end of the setup, but I gotta point out the clean cable work here. He painted a single raceway covering the cables from the monitors and the speakers going across the wall and into the back of the PC, while the rest of the cables underneath the desk are perfectly managed using a giant cable rack and cable clips to help with the routing. You can honestly take a lot of tips just from the angle of this desk, like how he installed a tiny shelf on the left side to store some of his things, and the way he mounted a headphone hanger and volume knob on the right side. And did he actually mount his subwoofer using only double-sided 3M tape? Like, am I seeing that correctly? Back on top of the setup, we have the SteelSeries Apex 7 TKL keyboard paired with the G903 mouse. Both very solid choices for peripherals, by the way. You know, it's been a while since we have seen a Mini ITX build, and I'm really happy to see one for this setup in particular. We got the i5-9600K and another RTX 2060 Super Founders Edition. You know, I think having a little bit of RGB in your setup is great. It's always nice to have options, that way you can decide when you want them on or off. Justin's setup was a great example of that, where it looks just as good without any lights. Thank you for sharing this with us. 
Wrapping up the episode, it's quite possibly the most anticipated setup of all time. The one, the only, Sam something. I actually don't know his last name. But Sam has been an active member on the Discord server for quite some time, and it's safe to say that everyone on the server has already seen this setup a million times. If you guys remember, Sam was actually first featured in Setup Wars episode 218. Since then, he has made it a mission to obtain the seal of approval, and well, here we are eight months later with a massive upgrade from before. We actually have two setups, a laptop setup on the left side for online school and Zoom classes, and the main setup for gaming, media consumption, and a bit of schoolwork. He kept a single 34-inch ultrawide in the middle and upgraded the other two side monitors to a Samsung 27-inch. And he did a fantastic job on lining up all three of the monitors together and has the option of rotating the monitors in vertical mode since they are all mounted on gas springs. We saw the same desk as before and the same peripherals, but it looks like he added some white keycaps to the keyboard. I do appreciate the fact that he took my recommendations and upgraded his speakers to something that complements the setup more and just overall sounds better than the cheap budget laptop speakers he had before. Another thing that's different is the microphone and boom arm placement. He moved it to the right side, which makes more sense as it's closer to the PC, but then he replaced the other side with a Govi RGB speaker. One of the coolest things about this new setup and my personal favorite is the lighting. We got custom made hexagon panels and an RGB cloud in the corner. Definitely the first time I'm seeing these together in a setup. I also love how he integrated a Gobi RGB strip inside and because there is a ton of lighting, he's able to completely transform the appearance of the setup by changing the lights and the wallpaper, which is so freaking cool. The PC powering it all is still the same beast as before with the 9900K and an ASUS RTX 2070 Super. While the setup has made some significant changes from before, I can't help but notice small areas that could have used more attention. Let's start off with the symmetry, which Sam was kind enough to include a PDF of in the submission. Well, you can clearly see here that the right speaker is a bit further away from the center clock compared to the left one. I feel like the Gobi speaker on the corner of the desk is a bit forced just to have something balanced with the microphone on the other side. It just seems a bit out of place in my opinion. Also, the wall shelf you installed next to the setup is a bit loose. And finally, I did mention this last time, but the PC is rocking a 240mm AIO instead of a 360. And normally this wouldn't bother me in any other case, but the fact that this is inside an O11 dynamic makes it that much more noticeable. Obviously, this is purely an aesthetics observation, and I don't recommend swapping an AIO just because it looks weird in the case, but it's something I have to point out. All in all, I think you made some really nice improvements from the very beginning of your setup journey, but I just wish you paid a little more attention to the finer details. I can't help but feel like all this lighting masks the questionable choices, but either way, a fantastic setup and an amazing setup evolution you have here. Thank you, Sam, for sharing this with us. As a reminder, you guys can always pick up a cheap Windows CD key for less than $15. Just click on my link below and use the code TS20 for an extra 20% off. Once you get your CD key, just visit the activation settings in Windows and change your product key. It's that simple. And that will do for today's video. As always, make sure you guys comment below and let me know which of these setups was your absolute favorite. And if you're enjoying the new season so far, as always, guys, tossing a simple like helps out the channel a ton. I truly appreciate your nose holes. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in the next one.